Bruce, I know that you did your homework. So please, use productive in a sentence. Give to. I thought I'd get my homework, ma'am. Yes, you have uh, that homework. <laughs>
non-stop. Just like the ants on dry summer days, you see the colony finding food from somewhere towards their storage place. The act of the ant ceaselessly finding food is what we call masipa. Another way of using the word masipag is when you refer to a kid who enjoys doing what he or she wants to do even if it's being done repeatedly. For example, when you see me reading here, reading there, reading in the morning, reading in the night, you can say that I am very masipag to read and that's masipag. I spent the first 46 years of my life in the Philippines and I am a native Tagalog speaker. Even if we speak our own language all the time, we also learn English at a very early age. As to why we did learn English is beyond the scope of this episode, but I could make one if you like. Since I was a kid and going back to the word masipag, it is stuck into my brain that the English translation of Masipag is industry use. But I cringe when I attempted to use industry use when I mean Masipag. Because since day one of my life in three years of living here in the U.S., I've never heard anyone use the word industry use when they speak. I wonder why. Or don't they really use the word industrious in their casual conversation? So, my dearest friends, comment down below your response to my wondering, please. Down there, by the way, below this YouTube screen panel, there's a space where you can type your comments so I can interact with you. I think that the best English word for masipag is productive, but I'm still not sure, so let's see. <coughs> At this point, I lovingly picked our resource speaker to help us validate my thoughts on masipag. He is just the best person to be here because he is born and raised here in the U.S. and so his mother tongue is English U.S. He is no other than my husband and most of the time my behind the camera helper and supporter of this YouTube channel, Life with Albine. So friends, let's welcome Bruce Bado. Bruce, welcome to my channel. How are you doing today? I am good. I want to say hi to everybody out there. Hello. Okay, sounds good, Bruce. Bruce, when I look up the English translation of the word masipag, a bunch of time they give me these words. Hardworking, diligent, energetic, industrious, and many more. We would like to find out what could be the closest translation of the word masipag. We will present few words with the definitions given by my favorite dictionary app. Let's begin. First, the word hard working. Tending to work with energy and commitment. You know, I remember Mom Catherine, your mom, always used the word hard working. In the night, she often says like this, I see you, that you are tired. You work hard, honey. So, as of this moment, I think that hardworking is the closest translation of masipag. Will you give us a couple of examples on how to use the word hardworking? So, an example of hardworking. Um, you could say... Ryan's a hard-working guy, or Ryan was working so hard today, uh, rewiring that, that floor lamp. 
You could say things like that for hard working. Um, the road crew is hard working putting new asphalt down on the road. That's that's could be an example of hard working. Okay, let me translate <coughs> in Tagalog what you say as an example of a sentence with hard working. Oh, I can do that. Tagalog? Yeah, sure. Okay, go ahead. Do it. Oh, oh. Your honor. Your okay. Honor. Yeah, sure, fine. I'll do it. Joseph, you get hard working now. <laughs> <laughs> I need you to see back. Si Ryan ay isang hard working. Hard working siya dahil ginagawa niya ang mga trabaho para sa mga lamps. Ang mga trabahador ng kalsada ay hard working. Inilalatag nila ang aspalto sa kalsada. Besides hard working, how about diligent? Dictionary defines it as careful and conscientious in one's work or duties. Well, this is just me, but I think that the word diligent is just a synonym to masipag and not really the direct translation to it. Perhaps diligent in Tagalog is masigasig. Masigasig? Yes. Not masigasig. Masigasig. Yes, masigasig. But I cannot talk more of masigasig in this session because it's too much to be a part of what we really are talking about. Okay, here goes your task. Use diligent in a sentence and give us at least two ways on how to use the word diligent. Please. My wife Albine is diligent in making her videos. Ang aking asawang si Albine ay diligent sa paggawa ng mga videos. Another example? Another example would be... I'm diligent in the work that I have to do in my studio. Ako ay diligent sa lahat ng mga trabahong ginagawa ko sa aking studio. And then, there's the word productive. I've got two meanings for that. Number one, producing or able to produce large amount of result. And the other one, number two, achieving or producing a significant amount of result. I think that productive is an acceptable translation to masipag, however, Productive sounds like it only refers to trees bearing fruits or to workers making extremely huge amount of outputs in a certain period of time. Bruce, I know that you did your homework, so please use productive in a sentence. Give to. I thought I get my homework, ma'am. Yes, you have uh, that homework. Uh, the dog productively ate my homework. Ang aso ay productive na kinain ang aking homework. <laughs> or I'm productive, or no, 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 I'm. Um, we at the shop are very productive in our output. Kami sa shop ay napaka productive para sa aming resulta. Lastly, industrious. My dictionary app says the meaning of industrious is diligent and hardworking. Now, Bruce, can you answer me why I've never heard you guys use industrious in your daily conversation? Uh, that would be because industrious is four syllables and most Americans don't speak above three. Oh, really? Oh. I just know that. It's just not a popular word anymore. Indu usually you say industrial for industrial zones around towns or that's an industry of whatever. But to describe how hard somebody's working, you don't say industrious too much. Especially if you're talking about house chores. Yeah, exactly. Is that it? Yeah. Okay. So that's what I thought also <clears throat> lately. 
Okay. There you go. It was fun having you here, Bruce. I bet our viewers appreciated your examples, and I'm sure this time they finally have decided what really is the translation of Masipag in English. To my fellow Tagalog friends, what is the best English word for Masipag? Is it A, industrious, B, hardworking, C, productive, or D, diligent? Comment down below your kind response to my survey. I want to hear from you. But if you are shy to comment out on public, I prepared a survey form. Come on, share your thoughts. Please find the link at the description below the subscribe button. And yeah, hit the subscribe button. No one is stopping you. And if you like this Masipag episode, hit the like button one time. Feel free to share this video to anyone you know whether they are Masipag or not. Please watch for the new episode coming. I'm doing this twice a month. Simply hit the bell button that is shown when you are subscribed already. That's to notify you when a new episode is published. I will be introducing one or two Tagalog words again and please find out. It could be fun, delightful, but mutually beneficial to you and me. Thanks for watching until the end. Thanks for your precious time. May this episode touch your life. And now, I'm sending you Masipag Spirit your way. I hope to see you again. Take care.